Today we're going to walk through the setup of using the Zebra R110 XI4 and the Universal Mini on-site printable inlay. After setting up the printer per the manual and power is applied, we're going to do a couple of initial setups for the Universal Mini. Load the material in as you would to set up the printer. Locate the notch on the edge. This is going to be used for our sensing. The sensor is located uh, above the media. There's a screw or thumb uh, screw that can be loosened and the, the part will slide across the rail. Make sure that the after you load the media, make sure that the sensor is directly above the notch in the media. After setting the sensor, locate the circuit board with the red LED underneath the media. The circuit board will slide side to side. Slide the circuit board closer to the media, the media edge that we're sensing off of so that the light can transmit through the notch. Now that we have our sensors set, load the media per the web path drawings on the machine. Load the inlays first, making sure that the print head is open so that you can feed the material through. Take your ribbon of choice, loading it onto the unwind spindle, and follow again follow the web path drawings on the machine. With the print door closed, take the bar and loosen the thumb screw. There's a rail here that fits into a notch on the side of the wall. Place the notch into the, into the side of the wall and tighten the thumb screw. For, for fine positioning, you want the bar to be level with the print head as the label exits. The purpose of the bar is to keep the labels flat as it exits the print head. This is needed because when the label pulls down, it creates a friction point between the label and the scrap piece. We, don't, we need that friction point reduced so that when the label back feeds, it does, not catch on the, it does not catch the ribbon and pull it back into the printer. The label needs the back feed to properly print the label and encode. After loading the media and closing the print head, hit the pause button for the auto calibrate. If the auto calibrate functions properly, you'll be able to hit feed and it'll feed one label. If the auto calibrate doesn't function properly, We'll want to go to the media calibrate function on the user interface. You can find this by scrolling to the right and it will say media and ribbon calibrate. <clears throat> to perform this, press the plus button and follow the instructions on the screen. If the auto calibrate doesn't function, follow the instructions and when the load backing instruction comes on, we remove the label completely, close the print door, and hit continue. Next it will ask for remove ribbon. 
we'll need to remove the ribbon closing the print door and hit continue. It then suggests to reload all. Follow the web paths as we did prior. After reloading all, press continue and the printer will calibrate. After the media is calibrated, Hit the feed button to make sure that one tag is feeding at a time. After we have the media calibrated, we want to calibrate the RFID portion. You can do this by hitting the setup and arrowing to the left. Look for the RFID tag calibrate. Hit the plus sign to run the tag calibration. You'll have to enter your password if you haven't reset your password, the default password is 1234. You can look at your calibrated settings by scrolling to the right, checking the read and write powers and the antenna position that is used. You can also check the error status under RFID error status. This one here says RFID OK and you're set to print. After calibrating the media and RFID portion, open the software that you're going to use to program and print the tags. We use the Zebra Designer Pro version and we set the label length to 1.25 repeat and the label size is 2.75 by 0.75. After you've entered those into your software, set your image and encoding scheme for the tag. To test, click print. 